Hey guys, welcome back to my makeup tutorial. Finally, I know there has been like a long gap from my last makeup tutorial to this one, but I promise it won't be that way going forward. So let's begin. For today, we are going to go a full glam look for night out. So I'm anyways going out, so I thought I'll get ready with you guys. So the face is pretty dewy because I have like my prep on for almost 30 minutes. I love my prep. I'll do another video on that for today's prep. So we are using all high-end products today. Some of them are available in the country. Some of them you can just buy it internationally. But for my prep, my real favorite right now is Christine Dior's Prestige Kit. Uh, they really come in the bunch of like these three products. So this goes in first. This is like a hydrating serum. It gives you the glow when you finish your makeup. You will see it. This goes second. It's again a serum and then their moisturizer. What I love the most is this little thing that they give you for your eye. So I am working very hard these days like 10, 12 hours a day, so I do have dark circles for now. So I'm really kind of like to prep my under eye uh, to avoid as much creases as I can because it's gonna be a long night. So I used like a Forest Essentials eye, eye cream. Feel free to use anything. Um, I also do have uh, lenses on, one of the most comfortable lenses by far. I buy these Olin's. Uh, they give you five pairs of different colors and these are like just a one-time use, but they're really one of the most comfortable lenses that I have ever used. So that's the prep. Uh, I haven't used primer yet, so let's start with that. We are gonna use two primers today. Uh, one is milk it's the hydrating primer so I kind of want a dewy look I kind of I'm obsessed with dewy looks actually I love how fresh it can look so so I'm gonna have this all over and after this we're gonna use another primer as well reason being I do tend to sweat around my t-zone a lot like this part and this part so for the silicone base we're using a uh, smashbox photo finish primer I know that they come with like they have different versions of this now they have for oily skin and then they do we look they have this was one of their very first ones actually and I'm obsessed with it exactly like see I smile a lot and when I smile I have like those lines so it tends to crease so much in that area and also sweat so I'm just gonna a little bit below my eye as well actually all right those are my concern areas where I seem to sweat like the most guys so so I also found this beautiful product while I was in uh, Europe, I mean in Paris and milk is, I don't know if it's available in India now, I think it is, but I didn't know about this for the longest time. This is an eyeshadow primer. I like to start my game with the eyeshadows, I mean with my eyeshadow first. And yeah, this will help with your creasing as well. So, uh, you know, while this kind of sits for like a minute, I'm gonna talk about this funny thing. The Naughty Palette from Huda Beauty, that's what we're using today. But these guys have like crazy names, you guys. Have you seen? They call, they have filthy, passion, Please me, <laughs> arouse, hard. I love how they came up with these crazy names. But yeah, so we're gonna use this palette today. We're gonna use the browns. For brushes, I'm gonna be using Pack Cosmetics 90%, but there is this special Charlotte Tilbury brush, which I'm gonna use for my blending, the fluffy brush that you need for your eyeshadow. These are really expensive, but they're really nice. But yeah, let's not forget to conceal. I feel like that's good enough time, 60 seconds for like the primer to set in. For my concealer, I'm using NARS today, and this one is in shade Caramel. To blend it, I usually use a, sponge but now I am obsessing over Charlotte Tilbury's brush like I use this to blend all my eyeshadow and concealer bro their brushes are like something else okay so trying not to blink while the concealer sits so let's uh, set it I mean I'm trying not to like open my eye and blink it to avoid creases so we're gonna use like loose powder we are using Laura Mercier I love like how light this powder is okay moving on to the eyeshadows you're gonna use shades of browns today so there are four colors in total that I'll be using the first one is your uh, the naughty you're gonna use like a blending brush to just kind of take some product Get out the extras and go just on the part below your crease line and on your eyelid. And the goal is the guys to stay as light as you can. I try to remain as light handed as possible. You guys also forgot to tell you that I have prepped my lips already. Please make sure you do that because it gets dry. I'm using Kylie Skin's lip oil. It's amazing. So now I'm gonna move on with another fluffy brush and what we do with this is we kind of use the next shade um, that's untamed, a darker brown, and we're gonna go like create a V. How I usually do it is I just dip the tip of my brush, take some product, and then create a V first on the outer corner. We go in again, a little more product, and do the same thing on like the inner corner. And now we we'll just go over it and blend it. It's full glam, so we are not shying away. Same thing on the other eye, guys. V and then inner V, and we blend and blend. Alrighty, so for the eyes, I feel like this color is a little dark, right? And I, I try to blend it as much as I can, but let's subtle it down a little bit. You don't want to be on people's face. You know what I mean? So I'm using the same brush I used at the beginning, kind of cleaning it up a little bit on my um, palm because I don't want the brown to mix. 
I'm taking like this peach. Uh, this is in the shade rough. So I feel like this will help me cut down any harsh lines. The same section where I created my V. See how much difference it makes this eye versus this. I do the same thing on the other eye. And guys, I usually don't worry about the mess that I'm making. I'm not a professional makeup artist. I literally have picked this up because of my passions. Don't worry about this. I'll show you a trick that I usually use to clean up your eye area when you don't have like a table or steady. So um, what we're gonna do is we kind of make a halo around this portion of your eye so that it doesn't look dull and kind of pops out. So for that, we're using the shade Flower Power. If you see the golden shade, I love how the Naughty Palette has their shades, really. So we'll use like a flat brush. This is again from cosmetics take a little bit and be sure to put, put it right above like your eyeball so this is what my makeup artist taught me <laughs> I'm teaching you the same thing literally swipe same thing on the other side of course kind of make it a little blendable by just going over it but don't go like all over and then the other color that we're gonna use is please me and we're gonna go over on the sides and right about the halo like kind of blend it like this from both sides I'm gonna smoothen out my crease line a little more. So I use the same brush I used at the very beginning. No color taken. Just like go over this area. Let's make it look like they're all the same color. All right, so guys, I quickly went and got my lashes done. I have really long, long nails. It's a whole Shazam to kind of do it. It's no rocket science. I know a lot of you know it, but I will do maybe a separate thing to show how I do my lashes. But for today, I've got like these lashes from Adele. They're very, not very dramatic, but I think it's nice for a night out. Going on the face for the base. So let's do this. I'm using the same concealer for like to cover up blemishes on my face. Like I said, right now, my under eye is bad. So I'm not using any color corrector because I don't think like it's very, very dark. So a concealer, alone can just do the job so NARS caramel shade I have freckles so I do like to cover that area a little bit as well you know guys the idea is to not apply a very thick layer and try to keep it as thin as you can because anyways you have like a foundation going over it and then I'm gonna use another bright concealer so a little bit on my forehead because if you see this part is stand compared to the other part of my face how funny do I, I look like a hippie who's ready to party one thing about makeup, while you're getting it done, you look so funny. This is the same Charlotte Tilbury brush that I used at the beginning to set like my concealer on the eyeshadows. So I'm gonna conceal the part like I told you with the eyeshadow. So I'm gonna try and make it like a little V. If you see, this is the direction that I'm gonna choose because it helps me to conceal all that extra eyeshadow. You can totally use a wet wipe if you would like to wipe off the extras, but I feel like right now I can just, I'm used to concealing it with my concealer. What a huge difference. Sometimes, you know, there are days I don't even use a foundation and just use my concealer. That's my base and go out. I look like a different person. So whatever was extra on my brush, I'm just going over my nose a little bit. Alrighty. Um, we are gonna use a little stroke cream today. This one is from MAC Cosmetics. Little tube that does wonders. So basically this helps kind of, so we'll use it on the higher cheekbone and a little bit on my forehead. What it does is, it gives you that highlight. Since I'm going out in the night and I know there'll be a lot of lights on my face, I want to highlight just certain parts of my face. I'm gonna blend this one with just my hand. Do you see that? have like Hercules forehead so I call it I like such a gigantic that's where I left out let's go over the chin and your a little northeast nose I feel like I want to keep going on with the stroke cream because of what it does to your face do you see how it highlights like this part guys I'm a sucker for dewy looks I'm telling you so we're gonna move on to foundation so for today's foundation NARS I love these guys this is their dewy long-lasting natural radiant long wear foundation um, this is again in shade Caddis. So usually I use about three pumps, but I have heard other makeup professionals come on and say, oh, if you're gonna use anything more than three pumps, like four or five, you're doing something wrong. No, everybody has like different shapes of their faces. So go easy on that one. For now, I'm gonna start with three. I like to warm it up a little bit. So I'm gonna use a brush. This one I think is from, I don't even know. It's on oh no, a Euro Paris 139. Just kind of stripe it. I totally feel like I might need more, you guys. Like I hate when I pump out more product and I don't get to use it. Products are really expensive, so you know, you gonna make the best out of it. The same Charlotte Tilbury brush, guys. <laughs> I told you I was obsessed. It's literally like for your foundation and concealer, this is your brush. 
Please don't forget your neck. <laughs> Irene, I have, I want to say that I've been to parties where I told me initially when I didn't know makeup so well, there was this statement that was made saying that my neck looked like someone else's and the face was like a different color. So, you know, you just want to make sure that things look the same, you guys. There are a lot of makeup haters out there. So they're pointing things out. Okay, our base is still dewy. So what I love is look, all the products we're using are like so hydrating and dewy. So even though I have so many products on, I love how it's like still so dewy. Next up, let's contour the face a little bit. I feel like I have good cheekbones and a good jawline but the difference it makes like contouring them structure and shape the bone area of our face like your jawline your your cheekbone and the forehead a little bit so for applying this I'm gonna use pack cosmetics s1 this is their contour brush you know, so this is this is the thing. I always kind of did it like this, and that made me like look so droopy. And then I finally figured out that I kind of want to make it a little higher so that it lifts up my face rather than like bringing it down. I know that somewhere here. <laughs> the reason I get confused is because, you know, I don't like doing things without being supervised. I don't wanna blend it for some reason, but I'm gonna blend it. For blending, we're gonna go with Charlotte Tilbury again. Bro, I'm really, this is my third brush from Charlotte Tilbury. So how you blend it is kind of put the brush at like the center and just go over it. Does the blending. Try not to come down and stay up. However, with the jawline, you go down. The forehead, I kind of like go up. Good enough. For the nose, this one is again Pack Cosmetics 095. So you just kind of bring it downwards. I like to add it up like from my eyebrow, like till here. So I kind of go closer on both sides. Ah, I feel like I look like a different girl again. The next thing I'm gonna use is a blush. This is the Nars Liquid Blush in Dolce Vita. <laughs> The goal is to make sure that you all sit at home and look gorgeous. No, no, I mean, don't sit at home, go out, of course. This is liquid blushes from NARS are really another favorite. Pack Cosmetics um, S1, that's their blush brush. So, you know, for the longest time, I would go with my blush around this area and look like nothing less than a cute monkey. But I think the goal is to not like do the round thing and push it like right how you go with it, like your contour, but a little above it but of course drag it out from your cheeks. And I also like my nose to get little, I have to subtle this down a little bit, but we'll do that a little later, guys. I still look like a monkey. I feel like, oh, since I love the product, I, look at it, I overdid it. So I'm gonna cut this down a little bit. But what I'm gonna do to subtle this down, you guys, is use the same brush that I use to blend my foundation and go over that area. Ta-da! Let's quickly set the face. Milk hydrating setting spray. This is again the range for my the eyeshadow primer and the setting spray is all from milk. So let it dry. In the meantime, I kind of did my brows a little bit before I started, but I think I have to do a little touch up. Have good brows, so I only like to shape and not like make a whole big brows out of it. I mean, no shame in the big brow game, but it's just not for me. This one is again Pack Cosmetics EY222. Uh, for my eyebrows, I'm using Anesthesia by Beverly Hills. I'll tag all the products, you guys. Less is more, please remember, you don't want, there's such a thin line between tacky and like great makeup. I have been on the tacky side for quite some time, so. Okay, so I still wanna maintain like the whole dewy face, but I also wanna set my under eye and T-zone to make sure I don't sweat around those areas. Like I said, though, my T-zone sweats the most. So you're gonna set it with Charlotte Tilbury's uh, Compact. I think the brands that's really making a head start today, Charlotte Tilbury and Milk, I think, and Nars. So using a small brush pack, this one is S1. So how this helps is, you know, it will help you with your creases and also helps lock in the concealer. Using a bigger brush for the rest of the face, this is packed. Why does this also S1? So this, oh yeah, this because it comes in a set of five. Like this part right below where you contoured. Kind of going easy because I still want it to be as dewy as it can and not change it to matte. For bronzer today, I'm using uh, the Hoola Mini. Do not use the brush that comes with it. It's really not comfortable, not good for your skin. If you're not a patient person, you just won't have good makeup on. Let's just put it down. Lipstick. So I'm gonna clean my lips off. For the lips, I am yet to finish off my face, but before that I quickly, let's line the lips. Uh, K-Beauty lip liner. 
quickly want to finish off with my powder blush. We're using the Dior. Black brushes again for the blush. So we're just going to take a little bit and go over because I had a liquid blush and I feel like I can matte it up a little more. Just the cheek part. Whew. Oh man, I love blushes. Finish it off with the highlighter. For highlighter, we are using the Glow That Glow Kit by Anesthesia Beverly Hills. Even though I have done makeup for years now, I do not have a steady hand to kind of put highlighter with the highlighter brush. So if you are like me, totally feel free to use a sponge. We're gonna use the Dripping in Gold. To kind of take a little bit here, dab it on your hand first because you don't want too much of highlighter. Oh wow. For the eye though, we're gonna highlight the inner corner with the same highlighters. It's a dome kind of a brush. If you see, you can use anything that looks like this or whatever you're comfortable with. For this, we're taking the sunburst, the very first. So just push it in. We're gonna use the same brush on the brow bone. I am a queen to mix lipsticks, you all know. If you, I mean, it's just, I mix this all the time. I love how mixing two lipsticks gives me a different shade every time. The two shades today we're using K-Beauty's Retro and the Romantic shade from Balm Cosmetics. The Retro first. And now the trick is take like a, this one and give it like a pop right below on your lip. I'll show you what I mean. Hang on there. So you only apply it like the center and eat your lips. I mean, don't eat your lips, like dab your lips. I like to use a shoe to kind of take off a little extra. Who's ready to go kill the night? Let's go. I hope you guys like. I love the look. I think I did well. I was really nervous because I was doing this after so long, talking to you guys and doing everything. So I like to do things like in my solitude. But yeah, like I said, I love you guys. That's why I'm putting out this content out there. Hope you liked it. Do recreate the look. Hashtag more motivated if you like the look. And please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Okay, you guys, have a good night. I'm going to post a picture of the full look here. Bye, you guys.